Welcome or welcome back at I need help at Cisco. In this example, we have a triangle. It's a special triangle, by the way, and we need to find the perimeter and the area of this triangle. And you notice here, I have a formula perimeter, which we call it P, is the sum of these three sides, AB, BC, and AC. But if we take a look, AB, the uh, side how long AB is, is pretty simple. You just count one, two, three, four, five. Okay. The same for AC. We need to count to find how long AC is. One, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The only one we need to work to find out how long it is, is uh, BC. And I said at the beginning, this is a special triangle. This is a right triangle. How do we know that? This is a vertical segment. This is a horizontal segment. They are perpendicular if they form a 90 degree angle. So this is a right triangle. So for that reason, I can use either, I can use in fact, the Pythagorean theorem. Also, you can use the distance formula for finding the distance between point B and point C, but I think Pythagorean theorem will be easier in this case. So we have here A squared, that will be 5, 5 squared. B squared, that will be 9 squared. And let me be sure here, if you switch this to a value, that's not a problem. They, those are the legs, how they are called, of this right triangle. Equal C squared. 5 squared is 25. 9 squared is 81. And that will be C squared. And 25 plus 81 is 106. Equal C squared. So C will be square root of 1 6, which cannot be simplified. I remember a, uh, this scene, in our case, in this Pythagorean formula is nothing else than the side BC of this given triangle. So now we can move and find the perimeter of this shape, right, the letter P, how I said here, down on the bottom, and that will be AB, which is 5, plus BC, which is square root of 1 of 6, and AC, which is 9. Okay. The only thing we can do here is to combine 5 and 9, because they are alike, and that 5 plus 9 is 14, plus square root of 106. And that is the perimeter of this shape. Now, we can move to the second part, which is the area and you notice for the area, I have a formula here, uh, area of a triangle is one half base times height. B stands for the base, H stands for the height. But since this triangle is a special one, is a right triangle, it's a lot, it's not super complicated. This will be the base. So the base is nine and this will be the height. Now, since this is a right triangle, we can switch them. That's not a problem in this case. So we can plug them now in the formula when we have A equals 1 over 2, B is 9, H is 5. So we end up with um, 1 over 2 times 45 or just 45 over 2, which is a good value. If you want to simplify and get a decimal value, that will be 22.5, but either value will be good. If you enjoyed this little clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-square for more help. Thank you.